I need a word, Edgar. Well, what have we here? If it isn't the Venus of the sea. Belay that nonsense before I dry heave myself to death. <laughs> Forgive me. I was just so overcome by your beauty. Ah, enough! Now tell me, what have you dredged up about that Cogna? Please, please. I find your courage intriguing, but I'd just as soon not have you stick out that beautiful neck of yours. That thing has damaged my ship and injured my crew. I would have seen to it myself if it hadn't fled inland. From what we've seen, it strikes at random by land, sea, and sky. And worse, it can adapt its shape to each locale. We have to hit it where we can, on solid ground and out on the water. But, now that it's made an enemy of Figaro, I can assure you it won't get anywhere near your ship again. Please, leave the creature's disposal to us. How heroic. That monstrosity should rightly die by my own hands, but do the deed if you're so willing. Yes. I only ask that if I return home safely, you reward me. I know that that's settled. I'll be on my way. And if that thing does best you, you have my word that you'll be properly avenged. Where are we? We call this site the Eye of the Desert. It's where Figaro Castle originally stood. It's in places like this and Big Bridge that you might, if you're especially lucky, see mirages that no one else has. You mean like brand new ones? Right. They appear in no legend or book, not even in Tome Town's treasure trove of volumes. What's more, some have said that the Eye of the Desert could be connected to other worlds. What does it mean when worlds are connected? Something happens? Well, it means... <sighs> I knew it would just be a matter of time before it found its way back. Phoebe, look out! <laughs> I hate being right! Whoa, dude! Legendary doesn't even begin to describe it. Not at all! I wonder what's going on in the world these things came from. Take this! I think we may have to look into that someday. <laughs> well, that was a pretty good workout, huh? What? That was the most powerful mirage I've ever seen! And you're telling me more of them will turn up here? Who knows, kiddo. But, if it'll win me points with the world's loveliest ladies, then I say go ahead and keep churning these nightmare adversaries out. Uh, I say please don't. Vivi, don't chicken out. You want to be single forever? <laughs> Whatever that mirage was, I don't think it came here just to attack without rhyme or reason. I wouldn't bother going out to sea except to do reconnaissance. Well, whoever it's testing the waters for, I'm ready to guard the world's treasures, by which I mean women.
I thought so. Rydia, what are you doing? Ah! Oh, Lady Yuna. Oh, now I understand. So you came here to train and try to conquer your fears. That's great. How do I put this? The others are doing so much. I don't want to keep getting in their way all the time. Well, why don't I help you out, if that's all right? Huh? Oh, no. Not when you are so busy, my lady. But you're doing something important that I want to be a part of. Please, let me help out. You and I are summoners. We should stick together. Oh, Lady Yuna. You're too kind. So, you say there's an adversary here that represents all of your fears? Mm. Not long ago, I started sensing a powerful fire entity here. Even the other mirages seem intent on keeping a healthy distance. You're right. I can feel its presence. Rydia, will you be okay? <sighs> yes. If I'm going to overcome my fears for good, I need to go up against the fiercest flames I can find. All right then. Here we go, Rydia. There. I. I have come here to do battle with you. Rydia, wait! Something's not right. There's something wrong with her soul. Tell me, who are you supposed to be? You mean that you don't know? Every moron has heard of Efrita, duh! Efrita? Yep. You might say that I'm the girl who puts all the heat back in Efrit. Tell me you didn't come all the way down here by accident. So you're an Efreet. Well, good. You're just what I'm looking for. Fight me. Help me beat my fear of fire. One fight, that's all I ask. Oh, sister, please! You're afraid of fire? Oh, no way! Well, you're not gonna last too long against a scorcher like me. But why not? You have such a lovely soul, after all. Lucky for you, I would be delighted to take it off your hands. Lady Yuna, get ready! Hold up. What happened to the wimps I was gonna destroy? So it's you. You're the Afrit that escaped from the nebula. Wait, what's the deal here? Have you two been hunting me down? Hmm. Your souls. I can't put my finger on it, but... Ooh, they're making my mouth water. <laughs> You're kidding. Are you saying you feed on people's souls? There's nothing better than... <laughs> Predictable. Stupid pinch hitters like you. I've never felt heat that intense before. It's like she was trying to burn away everything but my soul. Yes, with the mirage that dangerous loose, no one in Grimoire would have been safe. But see, we managed to stop her from hurting anyone, and it's all because of you. D don't be silly. Without your help, Lady Yuna, I would have... <laughs> you really should have more confidence in yourself. You fought so well. Now, before we come across even more trouble, shall we go? <sighs> yes, that seems wise. <gasps> Where did they all come from? <laughs> uh, Rydia? <sighs> I guess overcoming your fear of fire will just have to be an ongoing project. Come on, last one to the exit is a rotten egg. What? Hey, wait! Lady Yuna, no fair! Look, what now? Who's...
Ugh, between the Cogna and Mirages, I could really use a break. Can't wait till this is over, and I can get back to Blitzball training. Hm. I've got my own business to attend to, as long as he's still out there. As for me, I know that once Bahamut is dealt with and the Cogna are gone, I've always dreamed of becoming an instructor. <laughs> Squall, you okay there, buddy? Don't think I've ever seen you like this. You look kind of troubled. So you... You've all given some thought to what happens next. You've got aspirations. And you all know where you're going. But not... me. Nothing? Come on. You must have put something on hold for this. What were you gonna do with your life? I mean, once all the bad guys are gone for good, what's the first thing you want to do? Like, there can't be nothing. You want to know what I'm planning to do with my life? I never thought about it. I guess I have no future. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being undemanding. Is Titus right? No, it's worse than that. It's like I'm empty. I've got no dreams. I don't think I even know how to dream. All I really know is fighting. Is that what my life is? Once the Federation has been destroyed, will I no longer have a purpose? Squall! We've picked up a powerful mirage. Shulk is already en route. Can you go? Sure. I'll take care of it. Besides, it's not like I've got anything else important on the horizon. I'm here now. I'll take over. Hold on a minute. Let's team up. It'll improve our chances. If we attack Just both... Just stay it's... back. I said I've got it. <gasps> Would you let me finish this time? If we work Just to get... stop. Fighting. It's the only thing I've got. I'm not like the rest of you. You've got bright futures. I won't let you get hurt. Leave that to losers like me. Mm hmm? Then put your fears to rest. I'm like you. I have nothing to live for beyond this. I am ready to die in battle, whenever that moment should come. What? But... still... Please. You just said that fighting is all you've got. If so, you must know exactly how I feel. I have no dreams. As such, I've no incentive to survive this war. In fact, I have a very compelling incentive to not survive. So why don't we do this? Let's go out guns blazing. End it all here and now. Discharging all our magic at once would destroy that mirage. Yeah. Right. If I really thought that the world would be better off without me. If I'm that sad, that desperate. Fine. But I don't think that. Not enough to give up on living. No way. Mm -hmm. No guns blazing. I do have a dream. Sorry. No dying today. You know what I dream? That one day... I'll fill the world with flowers. Huh? Think about it. Flowers make people relax. The way I see it, they help make the world more peaceful. When this is over, I was hoping you would come and plant with me. So, don't go dying on me now. If you don't have your own dream, you can find one later. Alright? Life is just too precious. Glad you're catching on. Now quit your moping. Stop dragging yourself in the dirt and work with me. Shulk? Did you... play me? Well, after your talk with Titus, I noticed you seemed somewhat down. You got me. Won't do it again. So, you ready? Future's waiting. It's a nice thought. Maybe we can help him plant those flowers. We could scatter the seeds from Balam Garden. <laughs> we could. Take this!
You know, it may actually not be such a bad idea. Hmm? Filling the world with flowers once this is all over. Cut it out. It was the only thing I could come up with. <laughs> what do you say we head back? Everyone's waiting. Shall we get... What now? Who's solely... Don't worry, Yuna. You'll be fine as long as I'm here. That Mirage, it's Bismarck, right? I can take him. Uh, thank you. But we're here to fight him together. You don't have to take him alone. You got it. So, is it me, or do we have something here? Like we're soulmates, wouldn't you say? Ah, <sighs> this is no time for silly jokes. We need to focus on the battle that lies before us. <laughs> okay, you're right. I'm sorry. I just want to help us relax. Loosen up for the big fight. Right. Let's roll out. From what Quistus was telling us, Bismarck should still be somewhere in this area. So, hey, if I remember right, don't they call Bismarck the Shining Demon? Seems kind of weird. Shining doesn't sound threatening. Like, between Shining Yuna and Shady Yuna? Shady Yuna sounds bad, but Shining Yuna sounds cool. Titus, let's save the analysis for later. Right now, we need a plan in case things go wrong. Say we fail to defeat Bismarck. Valifor and I will create a diversion so that you Hey, can... hold up. What say we maybe think some happier thoughts? There's nothing wrong with being prepared for the worst. But I promise you, on my honor as a summoner, I will keep you safe. Come on now, Yuna. I'm glad you're looking out for me. I am. But can't you at least let me pretend like I'm helping? See, there's this thing about guys. Huh? What thing about guys? Actually, I think I just as soon not know. A good summoner has to know people to help people. Right? Guys are like half the population. You don't want to be 50% summoner, do you? Well, that's fair. So if I understand you correctly, then learning about men is an education. That's right. I don't want to scare you with all our deep and complicated emotions. So, let me just give you the broader points. Number one, we like to flirt. Uh, I knew that you weren't taking this seriously. <laughs> but you were taking it so seriously that I couldn't help it. <laughs> okay, I'll admit you did get me to relax. There, that's more like it. If you don't enjoy yourself, then what's the point of going on a quest? Oh, hey, check this out. You ever whistle? <sighs> That's wonderful. A sound that clear could cut through anything. <gasps> Wait, that's perfect. Huh? If we ever get separated, you can just whistle to signal for help. Okay? And then I'll come running. <sighs> you know, you seem real set on coming to somebody's rescue before this day is over. So, now you whistle. <sighs> okay. <sighs> That's okay. I won't need it. I never ask others for help. Why not? So you're a summoner. So what? There's no shame in asking for help when you need it. Titus, you've already been there for me once when it mattered the most. Then let me be there again. It's not like anyone's keeping score. <sighs> Why is it that you're so... Up, we got company.
Dude, it brought its own water? I suppose. That's just how this mirage rolls. Make sure you have the doc's medicine at the ready, just in case we get sucked in, okay? Yes, the man! This is it! Like we did it, right? Hello? Titus? Huh? Where did he go? <gasps> hey, Titus! <gasps> Titus! No, no. He was right here. Wait, if I whistle for him, maybe he'll come back. Like nothing happened. I can't. I just can't do it. Titus. Ow, 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 ow. That last shot there, I'll tell you, it really packed a punch. You all right? Hey! <laughs> Silly. Of course I'm all right. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, you want to head back? Uh, sure. Let's go.
There have just been new sightings of an extremely powerful mirage. I need for the two of you to take care of it. Tara is already stationed close by. Once she's freed up, I'll tell her to rendezvous with you and help out. Got it. But there won't be anything left to help with. One of us is gonna take that mirage down first. Wanna make it a race, Cloud? <laughs> Not interested. There's a village. Why don't we ask around about the Mirage? Maybe they've seen it. Hey. Question for you. Have you seen an unusual Mirage in the area? Oh, you'd better believe that I've seen it. <sighs> I've never been so scared in my life. When it came here and attacked the village, I was just about ready to give up all hope. But that's strange. I don't see a whole lot of damage. Where did the Mirage go? You'll never believe it. The silver-haired swordsman came and drove it off. The way he wielded that long blade of his, it was a sight to behold. Did you say silver hair? Hey, tell me where he went. Cloud, we're here to look for a mirage, not a swordsman. Don't get sidetracked. I'm pretty sure that the mirage retreated to the mountains. The swordsman went the opposite way. Got it. Thanks a lot. Cloud? Sorry, but I'm going after that guy. Take care of the Mirage. What? Hey, you can't just leave. Cloud! Who is this? Swordsman. I've been waiting too long to pick up his trail. This time, I'll... Cloud! I didn't expect to find you here. Tara. Oh yeah. Quistus mentioned that you were close by. Listen. Something else came up. You should go track down Lightning in case she needs your help. Something came up? You left Lightning to face that Mirage all by herself? What could possibly be so important? Look, there's this guy. I've been hunting him for a while. Now I'm finally right on his heels. I'm not gonna let this chance slip away. Hunting him? Cloud, you're scaring me. Why are you after this person? Did he do something to you? He took someone away from me. Forever. So when you find him, what are you going to do? Will killing him bring back the woman that you lost? <sighs> this isn't any way to honor her memory. To take your love for her and turn it into hate? Especially when it makes you abandon your friends! You have to decide. What's more important? Is it anger and revenge? Alright then. One of us will stick by Lightning. I know what I care about. Her safety! I didn't... Yeah, thanks. This one's a real handful. I bumped into Cloud on my way over. But he said he was busy hunting someone. It's okay. Just forget about him. Hey! Look out! <gasps> Cloud! You came back! Weren't you out looking for that silver-haired swordsman? I remembered I had something more important to do. Tara, I'm sorry. I get it now. I almost sacrificed others I care about. Never again. No. I won't lose anyone else I cherish. I swear. Oh yeah? So can I take that as official confirmation that you cherish us now? Yeah. There's not a thing I don't cherish. Who's this silver-haired guy Cloud's after? It sounds like he passes the in and out of Grimoire without belonging to it. An ant uh -huh. champion? An ant champion? They said the ant has. I've got Instead this. Instead of helping to save the world, he hurts it by creating even more of the 
chaos and suffering. There are people like that out there? Maybe the one day you'll meet him in an expansion. Oops, never the mind. Anyway, he's not in Grimoire at the moment. So I wouldn't have to worry about him too much Take right this. now. I might have known. You two would try to butt in. It's good to have you back. Thank you. Don't think for a second that I've given up on my search. But... Now that I've got my priorities straight, I won't mess them up. <laughs> so, let's go. You can practice your cherishing on the way home. Is there something wrong, Quistus? Oh, I just wish I was less busy. I hardly have any time to keep exploring the garden. Well, there's not much you can do. Still, remember when we moved seed here? Feels like ages ago. Yeah. We were conducting an airship test flight in the area when boom, there the garden was. It was crawling with mirages, but it was worth it for the technology and magic alone. The stuff here is way beyond what we had at the time. A brand new airship engine, this gun blade, the draw tech. Yeah, but we should have been more careful. The machines went berserk after we gave them to Shinra. In retrospect, isn't it possible they were connected to the Cogna? We should have done our homework better before handing over our findings. Hmm? So you're saying that the garden is tied to the Cogna somehow? Isn't that kind of a stretch? I see. You never did give Rain and Lon full access here. Now I know why. Just so you know, they still think it's because you don't trust them. What do you want me to do? If the garden really is some kind of Cogna Haven... Oh, don't worry. Our friend here isn't like that. Eiko? Hm? Wait, what do you mean, our friend? Do you know something about the garden? Well, it's really more of a feeling. You know Big Bridge? I think the garden here is very much like him. Huh? So... Right. Maybe Balam Garden is just one big mirage. Although, when I reach out to touch its mind, it doesn't respond to me in the slightest. It must be sleeping way, way more soundly than I have ever seen with Big Bridge. Shall I try waking it up? Uh, is that a good idea? I don't think that it means us any harm. But if things do get out of hand... Got it. We'll deal with whatever comes up. <sighs> I guess so. Why, thank you. Hey. Think you could wake up so we can talk? Can I ask what your name is? Eden. Eden of Balaam. Eden. <gasps> oh no! So it is connected to the Cogna? No! Eden's saying that waking it up opens some kind of pathway to... another world. Usually, it chooses to stay in a deep sleep in order to keep the path closed. That's the only way this world will stay safe. Either way, we need to send them back. So, there are places like this where the Cogna can just break through? I'm not so sure myself, but if the Cogna have already taken over a world that's in close to contact with Grimoire... I, I'd rather not to think about it. Yeah. <laughs> 
victory! Looks like Eden went back to sleep. I think we're okay. The garden should be safe from danger, as long as our friend doesn't wake up. Got it. We'll take care not to disturb it. <laughs> Once what now? Whose soul will you? Cloud, you back here again? Yeah. With all of these records here, there may be something on the guy I'm after. What guy? Ah! Impeccable timing, Cloud. This book has given me a wonderful idea, but I'll need your help. What? An opera? Not interested. No way! Now, now, not so fast. Celeste, what did you say to me the other day? Because I can recall you lamenting how gloomy the town has been since that whole vampire ordeal. I might have said something like that, but how does an opera figure in? With their little hearts broken like that, they may never enjoy a book again. Sid, it's not that tragic. Hmm? It's not? Take two. With their little hearts broken like that, they'll never find the courage to fend off all the cogna. Oh, well, I suppose you're right about that. Do you see? This opera is perfect for unslumping the town spirits. You don't expect us to. Yes. It features a mysterious hero and a beautiful heroine. Who could be better for the roles? Back in my younger years, I used to be head over heads for this libretto. I'm not some opera floozy. I refuse to embarrass myself on stage. Sorry, but you can count me out too. Oh, don't say that. In fact, you can't say that because you're already on the flyers. So as the saying goes, break a leg. I ought to break your leg for doing that! Okay, get rehearsing! What? Uh, hold it! So, he knows I'm not doing this. Is that her? I think Celeste is serious. Is she gonna do it? Oh, my hero. Hmm? What do you want? A mirage? <clears throat> What's going on? Cloud! This freak fell out of nowhere. Watch it. Ta da! It's so quiet in here, I could hear an octopus drop. You can hardly blame me for wanting to take over the place and save it for my retirement. I just flopped in to see who was making all the noise. Nobody arpeggios in my new contagio! Unless she happens to be a deliciously pretty lady. <laughs> who sent you? Was it the Federation? Yeah. <laughs> nope, never heard of him. I'm here to domesticate, not federate. And any bozo that gets in my way is gonna get mangled. Oh, but the young lady can stay and be my honey pie. This library is a sacred place. No one gave you permission to disturb it. Well, if you like your sacred library that much, I'd better do you a favor and hide it from anyone unsavory, huh? Here's a bright idea. Maybe I'll just squirt some ink all over these books. <laughs> Keep your tentacles off these books. I need them too. If you won't back off, then I know what's for dinner. I'm up for a little fancy cuisine myself. Not you again. Who, me? Oh, I'm just an innocent passerby. Really? Oh, uh, got it. Well, in that case... No one just passes through here, dummy! Oh, oh, let's do this!
wasn't so bad. <laughs> Mama tried to warn me that the real estate market was going to crash. <sighs> Seems all the books are still intact. Thanks a lot, Cloud. I had my own reasons to help. Oh, and Celeste? Is that the libretto? Hmm? Oh! It's covered in that freak's ink! I guess that means the opera's cancelled, then. No, wait a sec! Maybe the duet at the end is still okay! Oh, well... It's not like we can put on half an opera. Let's just shelve this idea. I'm sure we can find another way to cheer up the townspeople, right? Oh, well, I suppose. What a shame, too. You got a nice voice. Anyway, I'm gonna keep hunting through some more of these records. <laughs> what do you know? So I wasn't the star of either performance, but that's all right. What now? Who's so... What?